Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining us today at Snow Globe Rescue. I'm Tony, and as usual with me is Allie. Hello. And today we are going to work on this Italian nativity scene snow globe. This snow globe was sent to us by Kristen. Uh, Kristen uh, found our channel, uh, watched some of the videos. However, this is a very special snow globe and she just didn't feel confident doing it herself and she asked us if we would do it for her. Now, uh, we occasionally get people asking us if we would uh, fix a snow globe for them and that's not a problem. However, we do advise them uh, to check and see what the postage is gonna to be to ship that snow globe out. And of course, you're gonna to have to pay to ship the snow globe back. And then of course, the price of the snow, uh, of the repair. And what, uh, what we found is that in most cases, the total cost of repairing a snow globe exceeds the uh, value of the snow globe. And most people only do it if it has uh, sentimental value. Uh, and this is one of those cases where this globe has sentimental value to Kristen. So uh, the story behind this globe that we have is that uh, Kristen received this globe from her mother 25 years ago. So she's had this globe for 25 years. And uh, this globe came from, and I have a box right here. This globe came from the House of Christmas in uh, Dublin, Ohio. That's where her mother got it from. And uh, so she's had it this whole time and it has lost all of its water. And not only has it lost all of its water, but apparently as it was leaking, it caused some uh, mold to grow on the base. And there is also a small crack in the base right there, which we're gonna see what we can do about that, uh, keep it from getting any worse at least. So um, we're gonna go ahead and uh, take this apart get it cleaned up, put some uh, fresh water and glitter in there, hopefully clean up that, see how well we can clean up that uh, base and uh, see if we can get this thing restored back for Kristen. So I don't know how long it's been since she's seen it with water in it, but it's probably been a long time. So, so we will treat it with tender, loving care. Take uh, good care as we restore it for her. That's right. So let's go ahead and get, uh, get to it. Let's do it. All right, so as usual, we're going to start by removing this bottom cover here. So, Allie, if you could uh, heat that up so we can loosen the glue, we'll go ahead and get that off. Geronimo! All right. Okay, the music box is out, and everything looks good there. Sometimes, okay. sometimes when the water leaks out of these snow globes, it goes all over the music yeah, box, and they really rust, bad. and they get very badly oxidized. This one looks like it's in excellent does, shape. Actually. No, there's nothing Surprise. wrong with this at all. Let's see. Yep, it works. No problem yes, there. It's surprisingly so, clean, for yes, sure. Yes, so that's one issue we're not going to have to deal with, so that's good. Okay, now, let's see. We just have to be very careful with what we're doing here. Oh, we've seen this before, mm -hmm. where it looked like it's... Mm -hmm. Okay, so this looks like a, a standard, uh, a standard um, uh, stopper. Mm -hmm. However, it looks like they sprayed the inside. We've seen this, like Ali said, we've seen this once before. It looks like they sprayed the inside of the stopper with some sort of coating. I don't know why. Uh, if it was meant to keep the water from leaking out, it, it didn't did work. Good, good job. At However, all, I can see in the coating that they put in here, there is a split in the coating right here along the uh, the stopper. That's where it's coming out. Ah, if I'm sure. Yeah. Okay, now. Being that this snow globe is 25 years old at least, uh, and all the water leaked out, we're gonna see hopefully that uh, stopper is still in, in, in usable shape. If not, we'll have to find another stopper for it. We're gonna carefully get the stopper out of here. Okay, well, <clears throat> so as you saw, this stopper was so dry and brittle mm -hmm. that not only was it not flexible, it's, it, it, it wasn't flexing, so we couldn't get it out of the, the, the globe, it, uh, it, it came out in pieces. 
uh, every time you try to pull out, a piece would come out. So this is just, yeah, this 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 stopper is unusable. Oh yeah. So so this stopper is gone. So we got to find a new stopper for that. But here is the uh, here's the figurine in good shape. We'll mm-hmm. clean we'll clean we'll this clean that up. we'll clean this figurine up, and we'll mount it on a new stopper. All right. So we need to stop. Okay, we got the area cleaned up here as much as we could. Mm-hmm. And uh, the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to remove the globe from the base. I'm going to assume this was done with hot glue and we should be able to heat this up and just remove it. If not, we're just going to leave it on there. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and see. There we go. All right. Got it apart. Yeah, that glue is very old. The glue is brittle. It's fault yeah it's okay so all right so now that we've got it all disassembled the the first thing i'm going to do is uh yeah see all this the stuff that they put in there it's just like a rubber coating that they put in there that uh, didn't they help do what it was supposed to do <laughs> yeah that's for sure okay so um this crack that we showed you earlier here it's super i guess it's, it's just on the very bottom here of the of the glow of the uh base but if you look on the inside, it's worse on the inside than on the outside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put some Zappa Gap in there and uh, hopefully that'll keep it from getting any worse. All right, so we placed a uh, piece of uh, painter's tape on here, which is safe for the, for the base to put on there. And I'm gonna go ahead and we're going to place a drop of Zappa Gap right on the crack and let that go into the crack. And this uh, piece of tape where will keep any glue from coming out onto the, uh, onto the outside of the, uh, of the base. And you can see the Zappa gap going into the crack there. So it's, it'll go in there and it'll... Uh, we're not gonna try to fix that little crack down here. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna do this to keep that from... And it's not showing on the side of the, the base. It's only on the bottom. So we're gonna try and keep that from getting any worse. So that Zappa gap is working its way down into that crack. And we're going to let this sit for a while while we work on the rest of it. And then we'll come back to this and work on that. All right, we, know, we don't normally show this step whenever we do this, but uh, we thought we'd do it today uh, when we clean the figurine and the, uh, and the glow. What we do is we have some uh, soapy water here and we have these very uh, soft bristle brushes here. And then we have this uh, handle sponge that we use. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, rinse off the figurine, some warm water. There's still some glitter stuck to the figurines here. So I'm going to use this uh, soft bristle brush here and just clean them all up. Get as much, uh, any any, uh, uh, dirty, like uh, from the water evaporating, you know, that uh, got stuck to the figurine. We'll clean that all off. Okay, that figurine's nice and clean now. Now, the globe has a bunch of stuff stuck to it. Uh, glitter and uh, something else. I'm not sure what it is. We're going to go ahead and fill this up with water. I'm going to put some of the soapy water inside the globe here. Then we're going to take this handle sponge here and just clean the inside of the globe carefully. So there is still some glitter and it looks like this may have been laying on its side for a while because it looks like there's a spot there for the water. I'm going to clean this one more time and if I can't get that off of there, I'm going to go in there with some vinegar and try to See if I can get that and go ahead and attach this uh, figurine to the new stopper. And this has a concave uh, center here. So what we're going to do, odd. I know it's not totally flat across the, 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 the bottom here. So we're going to put this Zappa gap around the perimeter here. So we're going to do the, it spins me right <laughs> we're going to put it on my head. Yep, we're gonna put it on the figurine. And I'm honestly not sure which version, the Flowrider one <laughs> or the original one. Uh-huh. 
All right, so now we're gonna put that right in the center of the stopper, right about right there. Yeah, that looks good. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna hold it down for several minutes and we'll come back when that's all uh, my glue's dried. So uh, we had this soaking in some uh, vinegar and water mixture, like uh, half and half, a one to one. Cleaned it up really well. Cleaned it up good. All those, all those crystals from the evaporated water are gone. This is all nice and clean now. And we got as much of the glue off of here as we could. Uh, we didn't want to go too... Normally, we, we clean these up a little better, but since we don't have this type of globe as a replacement, we want to be careful with this. So uh, this fits into the... Perfectly into the... So we got as much of the glue mm -hmm. uh, taken out of the base as possible. So this will fit perfectly in there. So no problem. Uh, we're letting this glue dry for a little bit longer here on the figurine. And it uh, looks like the glue in the crack is dry. That crack is all filled in. So I don't think that crack is going to get any worse than it is. So the next step now is about this, uh, all of this uh, mold that's on here. Yeah, cleaning up the space. Right, exactly. So uh, I did some research uh, online about cleaning uh, mold stains uh, and mold from uh, wood and and furniture, that sort of thing. And they had two suggestions. One was to use uh, uh, vinegar. And if the vinegar doesn't work, then uh, uh, baking soda. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and try the vinegar first. Uh, we're supposed to clean it up with vinegar and then let the vinegar sit on there for like an hour. And I guess uh, apparently that is because some of this mold might go into the wood and, and uh, that way the vinegar can get in there and kill it so that this mold doesn't come back. So. Let's go ahead and give this a try here. I've got some uh, distilled white vinegar right here. And let's see what happens. I'm gonna start down here at the bottom. All right, we cleaned up the base as best as we could with the vinegar. It looks cleaner. It, it does look better. Um, actually, we got we got a bunch of that mold off of there, as you can see on this, uh, on this white uh, cloth mold. here. Yeah. yeah, that was all the mold that we took off. Now, there's still some, uh, this now it looks like it's stained on the wood. Uh, so uh, the recommendation was if uh, uh, vinegar was one option, uh, the next option was uh, baking soda, baking soda and water. So we're gonna give the baking soda and water a try and see if we can get any more of that off of there. Let's see. At the very least, maybe it'll deodorize it a little bit. Maybe. There's also a kind of like, you know, a, a, a smell to it from it being musky, you know? Mm-hmm. All right. So the baking soda took off a little more. So we got a little bit more of it off. Still some stuff here. We found another recipe on that same site. I guess if those two don't work, uh, <clears throat> this we mixed together. This is uh, one part uh, soap. We used uh, dish soap. Uh, 10 parts uh, bleach and 20 parts water. So we mix that together and we're going to see here uh, what happens. We're going to start at the, we're going to use the bottom of the, uh, of the base to start with here. Interesting. It'd be interesting to see what it does. I'm hoping that the bleach that's in there uh, cleans up the stains from the, uh, from the mold. But we'll okay, see. we have used three different solutions for that were recommended for cleaning mold off of wood. And we've got this thing pretty clean here. I mean, it's a lot better than it was. It's a big, big difference here. It is. But this is just not going to come out. And the only way to get this out, I think, would probably be to sand this down and refinish it. But uh, as old as it is, uh, and it's already got a crack. Much better than it was. And we're going to go ahead and move on. It looks really good. Yeah, no, compared it, it, to what it, it does. It was. Yes, yeah. exactly. So, all right. So the next step is to get some water in this globe and get the figurine, which is now totally mounted on the uh, stopper here. All right. So, Allie, if you could hold this, please. I think I might be able to do that. Okay. So, first off, I'm gonna measure how much water this holds because since it's not a, a, a round uh, a globe, I'm not sure what the measurement is on this. I like this globe. Okay, yeah, it's not bad. Oh, that's okay. a cool looking globe. Like the, the shape of the... Right, so mm -hmm. this holds uh, about two cups of water. 
a little over two cups. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll put about uh, eight tablespoons of glue, four, four per, four per cup. All right, here we go. We're gonna put eight tablespoons of glue in here. All right, about eight tablespoons of glue right there. And we're going to mix it up. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> and we use the plastic spoons to mix it up so we don't hurt the glass. And once the water's clear, the glue is mixed. Okay, so Allie, uh -huh. we uh, we tried as closely as uh -huh. possible to match because uh, uh, Kristen wanted the uh, the glitter in there, not snow because it had glitter to begin with. And so we tried to match the, the original glitter that we found in the in the snow globe as, as closely as we could. So Allie's gonna go ahead and put that in there. I'm gonna I'm gonna play with this ratio a little bit and see if I can get a good balance. There seems to be a few different colors going on. Um, let's see. Mm -hmm. Try a little bit of that color. They are two different colors. I know it looks like it's the same, but it's not. Now the green is what's throwing it off because there was this green in here, but I don't have the exact green. The green I have is a little bit more electrified and I didn't want to do that. Well, the uh, the glitter that was in there originally, uh, the, resi the residue that we found inside the uh, globe uh, looked like it was different colors. It was, yeah. it was multicolored, yeah. It was multicolored and it was smaller. Um, so yeah, let me was, see. Uh, let's see what's in there. Okay, so let's stir that up and yeah. see how that looks. There's also a little bit finer glue. Not fine glue, but finer than what we have. Glitter. Or glitter. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I think it looks pretty. Um, how's that look? That looks pretty good, I think. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's stir it up one more time here and see. I don't want to yeah. over. I think that's good. We don't, don't want to overdo, overdo it. it. Yeah, but I think that's a good amount. Yeah. I want it to look really nice because I know this is special for her, so right. I, I don't want to overdo it. Right. And I think that's pretty close and you know what? to what it looks like. If, if if it's not good, once we get it up right, we can always put more in there. We just open it up and get more in there. Okay, so. I think I like it. I don't want to over. Yeah, I definitely don't want to overdo it. Okay, can you hold this, please? Yes. Let me just put some caps on these real quick so I don't knock these over. Okay. All right, so we're going to wet the stopper. She's at. Yep. Nice, nice new stopper here, it looks like. <laughs> All right. Get yeah, there. it's, uh, we had a perfect stopper in-house mm -hmm, for it, which is good. It was nice and... We happen to have one, yeah. Nice and clean, pretty new. Fits perfectly. Fits perfectly. Fits perfectly. Uh, do you uh, need the little let me see screwdriver? If I can, yeah, let me see if I can... You have it? Okay. Let's see if I can do it without an air bubble. Here we go. Hold on, let's get the... Air here we go. The front okay. part here. Pesky air bubbles. Okay, here we go. I know most people are used to seeing air bubbles, but I don't like them. Uh, a lot of snow globes have air bubbles in them, even from the store. And, you know, like, it's, uh, it's just something that people have come to, you know, to accept. But not if you can I. if you can get them out of there, why not? Okay. Hey, Ooh, look. Good job, baby. No, oh, there's one. One little tiny one. Okay, now, yes. since, since, since this was all out of the globe yeah, here. Yeah, we're going to let it sit. We're going to let this sit for a while and uh, let it... Uh, you know, kind of yeah, settle down do that. all the air that's going to. Oh, I like that. That looks pretty. Yeah, that I looks, hope she'll like it. That, that looks, looks good. I think yeah. it looks pretty. Okay, so we're going so we're going to let this uh, settle and let that air bubble do its thing, and then we'll go ahead and get it out. This globe to sit for a while, and this is about what we're going to have for the uh, air bubble here. We're going to go ahead and use the uh, syringe to take this one out. So I'm going to go ahead and. Pull back on the stopper a little bit. We're gonna get that air bubble all the way to the top there, just like that. And we're gonna get this stopper back. Let me get this screwdriver here to help me out. Okay, there we go. All right, now we get the syringe in there. And then we force that air bubble out with a little bit of water here. Is there any more in there? So. Okay. Air bubble is out. There is no air bubble there now. Perfect. Okay. So now we're going to dry this up 
and then we can start right. assembling. So, uh, globe's ready, the uh, base is ready, and uh, this is the, the the cleanest part of the base right here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and make this the front, yeah. which is the one you're gonna part you're gonna see most often. So, we'll, okay, now go ahead, and Allie, and grab that uh, that globe. All right, and we're going to put a bead of glue around the inside surface of this base here to hold the, can you give me another glue stick, please? Thank you. Yeah, that's fine. Um, to hold the globe in place when we turn it upside down. Okay, turn it, please. Okay, there it is. Now, so, let's turn it back around. That's the front. So go ahead and place it so they're facing the, the, that front there. Does that look good? That looks right. Yeah. Right about there. Right about there. Yeah. There. Perfect. 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 Okay. Okay, we're gonna let that sit for a minute. Yeah. Okay. Then we're gonna flip it over and finish sealing okay, it. Okay, we let that glue cool for a while. Now we can flip this upside down and seal this up. Okay. All right. So if you could hold that, please. I'm gonna put a bead of glue uh, all the way around the, the globe so it fits, it fills the space in between the globe and the stopper, and then I'm gonna bring it over the edge of the stopper uh, so that it seals it up all the way. Yeah, go ahead and turn it. Yeah. There we go. All right. So, a uh, couple of air bubbles. Um, we'll go, go ahead and pop those and. Uh, but it'll be safe put, there. Safe and soft. Put a little more glue where those bubbles were, mm -hmm. right there. Okay. Any more? Yeah. Right there. Okay. Uh, sometimes a little bit of water will be in between the uh, stopper and the glass, and the hot glue will cause the water to vaporize and create a bubble. You need to pop those bubbles okay. and put a little more glue on there uh, so that. Uh, it doesn't, because uh, if the bubble if the bubble pops, it'll it, it could create a leak. We've seen that happen before. All right, so how's that look? We have sealed this thing up. I don't. I think it's good. I I have my doubts that this will ever leak again. But oh, there's another bubble right oh, there. Oh really? Up. Yeah. One more. Oh. Right there. Right there. Huh? Get okay. that thing. Yeah. There we go. Okay. A little more hot glue right there where that bubble popped. Okay. All right, so we're gonna let this cool for a little bit and then we're gonna put the cover on. Okay. okay, that glue's cooled for a while. We're gonna go ahead and put the cover back on. And as usual, we use uh, three, tape, uh, three drops of uh, glue to hold it on. Mm -hmm. If we ever have to take it back off again, it won't be so difficult. Right. So there's one, mm -hmm. two, and three. Fancy twirl. A little twirl, yes. All right. Okay, we're gonna let that cool. And then we're gonna put it up on the stand and see how this turned out. All right. There it is. I think it looks really pretty. All finished up. Looks good. I think it looks great. Yeah. Um, so this was, uh, this was a pretty good uh, project, not, not too bad. Mm -hmm. uh, we had to uh, replace the stopper. The stopper was completely, uh, what's the word, I'm petrified? Mm -hmm. It's like the, the, the rubber was hard and brittle and just fell apart. Uh, so no surprise since there was no water in there. Yeah. But uh, we found another stopper. Uh, we installed the uh, figurine onto that new stopper. Uh, filled it with water and uh, fresh glitter and put eight tablespoons of glue in there. Mm -hmm. This was uh, two cups of water in there. And then we uh, cleaned up the base with like three different types of solution to get all that uh, all that uh, mold off of there. Uh, did a pretty good job. Uh, yeah. There's a little bit of staining to the wood, but most of the mold, uh, all those big uh, dots of mold are all, uh, all pretty much gone. It's, uh, it's more like the wood grain has got some some discoloration to it, but that's deep in the wood, and the only way mm -hmm. to get that done is to sand it down or paint it or something. Uh, and so uh, 
for now, we're just going to go ahead and leave it like that because uh, this is an old piece mm -hmm. and uh, we don't know, we don't want to, you know, how would I put stress that wood out? The older wood is, the drier it yeah. is, and the, mm -hmm. a lot easier it can crack. Mm -hmm. So the less you want to you want to do to it if possible. Right. So um, this, uh, let's see, we'll, we'll go ahead and shake it up. Okay. And, uh, and you know what? Let's go ahead and put that, uh, let's turn, uh, it's... Kristen mentioned that uh, this plays uh, Silent Night, which is her grandmother's favorite. I hope you like the colors, Kristen. I did my best to um, match it from what was left over in there. So right. I hope so, you enjoy it. So it looks good. Um, and uh, Kristen, uh, Hope you hope you like it. Uh, you know, for 25 years old, it doesn't look bad. Uh, yeah. Yeah, she's uh, she doesn't look 25. So, well, there you go, folks. Uh, a Italian uh, nativity scene uh, with a dome, and uh, I think it turned out good. I think it turned out great. So, everyone, that's it. Uh, thank you. We appreciate for watching. your time. Uh, you know, please consider uh, liking, subscribing, and sharing. And we have some links coming up to some of our other videos. And uh, let us know in the comments what you think. And uh, take care, everyone, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.